I came to you with those calculations. We thought we might start a chain reaction that would destroy the entire world. Oh, I remember it well. What happened? I believe we did. He knew the world would not be the same. Few people cried. Most people were silent. I remember the line from the Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. With the success Godzilla Minus One is having both in Japan and overseas, why not capitalize on this occasion by talking about another Godzilla figure? When closely looking at the head, the design seems to be reminiscent of the Heisei Gojira with a sprinkle of the legendary Goji, culminating in a fierce but frightening design more akin to Ghidorah. This is portrayed through the crossed eyebrows, the intent filled eyes, but combined with heavy doses of concussion, and the separately colored teeth, which is something I can appreciate at least compared to the Haya. But Bandai seems to have abided to screen accuracy in which the scar inflicted to Godzilla by the mine is organically embedded onto the skull, making for a superb but retarded head sculpt. Moving down to the torso, just like the head, possesses the rough, thick, and extra crispy hide all throughout the body, which, while adds extra authenticity to Minus Goji, makes it a hell when touching the figure. But I have to admit, Godzilla here sure has a lovely pair with not only the thick hide, various scales alongside paint jobs, but also the massive boobas that rivals even the likes of everybody's favorite saint. The arms are also a feat to watch as while not as thick as the legendary Goji has some impressive feats up his sleeves, as the arm is composed of four pieces in which they can rotate to almost any pose the consumer desires. Alongside the sharp horns located at the elbows that makes Godzilla here a fierce contempt Temporary at close range, making the minus Goji here a horny boy. <laughs> Moving down to the crotch, the big G sure seems to have a hard and lumpy. That's a penis. Look at the legs. Japan seems to have learned from the American design as Minus Goji here has in possession a pair of thick thighs that not only rivals the legendary Goji but puts hot anime waifus to shame. But the feet outclasses even the legendary Goji as the width alone outsizes that Goji alongside the four separate digits which are well defined and possess decent length that adds to the feet's overall size. And finally look at the tail, just like the rest of the body possesses the thick and dark hide alongside the fact that the tail is composed of 17 separate pieces that not only add to the big G scale but allows Gojira to pull off some impressive moves. And of course concludes the dorsal plates. The dorsal plates! From my previous videos, each Godzilla possessed their unique individual plates that aid in differentiating each Godzilla from one another. And Minus Goji is no different as the plates seen here are a clear departure from the past, as not only are they massive in scale, but also ultra thin. But don't be fooled, as they are a tough SOB and don't bend for the most part. The plates also retain the color scheme found on the rest of the body with no paint blotches from my experience. But Bandai, rather than giving the loyal customers the gimmick in which the plates unplug for the Oppenheimer treatment, Bandai just sculpted a particular few plates in that process as portrayed through the hollow cores found on the roots of certain plates. Perfectly portraying when Godzilla here screams out I am... 
Do you know the saying? If it's supported by Kadokawa, there's plenty. But if supported by Toho, there's none. And as you can see, Godzilla here comes with nine. You can't keep getting away with it! Especially at that price. When observing how Minus Goji stands up for himself, as an SH Monstars figure, Goji Boy isn't your giant similar to the likes of Hyatt Toys, but is still pretty tall when compared to the likes of your typical Gunpla or fake characters. This is in due to Minus Goji standing at 16 centimeters or 6.3 inches tall. Here's Minus Goji next to Gunpla, SH Figuarts, Figma, and Gojira, Godzilla, 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 and Ghidorah. As an SH Monstars figure, which while isn't the best regarding posability, is still capable of showing off some impressive feats and probably the sole advantage this line has to his competitors. And as a part of this prestige brand, let's see whether Minus Goji lines up to the line's reputation. The head regarding movement is limited. The neck allows for the head to fire at a particular angle. The chest as connected to a ball joint allows for superb bends for the big G to reenact his own iteration of the rumbling. The arms for the kaiju can move up and down with the elbows having a somewhat 90 degrees bend and rigid hand movements. The legs, while stiff compared to the likes of both mechs and anime waifus, is still able to pull off the Zaku kick. Knee movement is non-existent, a very slight movement for the toes, and when talking about the tail posability, every Godzilla figure in the Monstars line has shown an unprecedented amount of movement from the original rubber suit to its anime counterparts. And Minus Goji is no exception as the 17-piece tail are all connected by ball joints, in which the tail movement is able to conduct not only the iconic pose, but also aids Godzilla in becoming a hentai protagonist. So. What is there left to say? The SH Monstars iteration of Minus Goji is an impressive release as it retains almost all the necessary components regarding an articulated Godzilla figure. This is supported by the intricate details shown on the screen rendered in plastic form, the impressive paint job applied with extra dry brushing, a decent scale regarding a kaiju figure, the joints that don't fall apart, and the unprecedented amount of movement that is hard to see even in other lines. The only drawback I have regarding my Minus Goji here is the lack of accessories, especially at this price. In doing so, I believe this is a good figure that is a must buy if you're a fan of Minus Goji and if you have a left kidney to spare. With that said, I'm gonna give the SH Monstars Godzilla Minus 1 a ranking of an A-. 